<clears throat> YouTube, YouTube, what is YouTube? Down Home News TV. I am Dre. Oh, man. I got a sad story coming from Michigan State. The article's from AP News. The title of the article is Michigan State Football's Marion Smith is raising five siblings since his mother's death. <clears throat> <clears throat> Lansing, Michi Michigan. Oh my goodness! Lansing, Michigan. Marion Smith pressed his palms together over the bridge of his nose, closed his eyes, and leaned against the kitchen sink. The 21-year-old Michigan State defensive back needed a moment in the four-bedroom, two-bathroom home he shares with his five si younger siblings. He has a lot on his plate more than most college students, and certainly more than most athletic students. His mother, Gala Gilliam, died of breast cancer a month ago, and without a father in the family's life, Smith has become the head of the household while studying criminal justice and playing major college football. He became the legal guardian for four siblings on September 11th. Photograph of Mr. Smith. <clears throat> My cards were given, Smith said softly with a steely gaze, standing on a small porch behind him, behind the home as the sun set on a recent evening. I didn't choose my deck of cards. His 19-year-old sister, Aelion, is in charge while he is gone for about 12 hours most of the days to be a student and athlete. Appreciating her selfless sacrifice, Smith said he hopes to help her find a way to start taking classes next semester while juggling her role with the family. <clears throat> Smith looks and sounds determined to help his siblings be happy, healthy, and safe. His teammates watched in awe. I couldn't even begin to imagine if I was in that situation. Linebacker Jordan Hall said, he's in a tough spot, but he is one of the strongest guys I've ever known. Smith grew up in Detroit, recalling how he was homeless at times and hopped from house to house to find places to sleep. He was a three-star prospect at River Road High School and attended the University of Cincinnati for two years. After Smith's mother was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2022 during his sophomore season with the Bearcats, <clears throat> he transferred last year to be closer to home. The life lessons from his mom continued. When Smith, holding his two-year-old sister, arrived at a recent fundraiser, <clears throat> each of his other siblings introduced themselves to people there to support the family and shook their hands while making eye contact. That's from my mom, he said. She was trying to prepare him for the for what was to come before she died August 19th. She was 41. Photograph of his mother. She survived by six children. <clears throat> she used to tell me everything get hard and all of that, he recalled. And I see why, she was under a lot of stress. Smith keeps notes on his phone to help him manage busy days to start before dawn. When he is up to make sure his two sisters and three brothers are awake before he leaves for school, Smith gets a little lift from a teammate or a ride, hauling service to make the four mile trip to campus for therapy on his surgically repaired shoulders and meetings with the football team before going to classes and practice. <clears throat> His elder sister gets their 16 and 15 year old brothers, Armad and Avagon, and 11 year old sister Ariel ready for school. There are two varieties of cap and crunch atop of the refrigerator in the kitchen that didn't have a table or chairs during a recent visit. 
The school-age brothers rely on ride-hauling company at them to school and back, while their oldest sister cares for the taller sister, Amiria. Me and my sister got to go. Excuse me. Me and my sister got to work together to keep this all afloat. <clears throat> he said, "While I'm picking, while I'm in college sports, she's got to be able to take care of everything that I can do, like pick up where I left off, while I'm taking care of business." He and his siblings. He is now responsible for at least. Have a home, thanks in part to a GoFundMe campaign. <clears throat> Student caregivers. While Smith's story is unusual in college sports, the NCAA does not track the number of athletes whose day-to-day -day activities include caring for a dependent. A 2020, a 2020 study for the National Center of Education Statistics found 19.5% of undergraduate college students had a dependent and 5.5% of them were responsible for non-child dependents. Other research shows student caregivers are disproportionately from historically marginalized racial and ethnic groups. Ray Ray McElroth Bay, McElroth Bay was a 19-year-old freshman in, at Clemson in 2006 when he took over custody of his 10-year-old brother because of his mother's drug problems and his father's gambling addiction. Initially, they lived solely off McElroy's scholarship, and later the NCAA approved a plan where donations were administered by a local bank and distributed to Ray and Famar. His story was the subject of Safety, a Disney movie. When Ray Ray was a child and saw angels in outfield, it inspired him because he felt there were other children out there like him. <clears throat> These days, he does not he does speaking engagements and shares the message of hope with young people. Just kind to speak to those, just kind to speak to those kids in a similar situation like I was growing up and have them have something to inspire them as the greatest gift. He said. Oh, uh, there's a video attached to this article, but man, 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 man. For those of y'all that still have <clears throat> y'all's parents in y'all's lives, man, don't take them for granted. I just got back from seeing my parents, and they're up there in age, and I wouldn't be able, just like the other guy stated, the linebacker, I wouldn't be able to imagine how I would survive something like this. I mean, I know I'd survive, but mentally, it's, it's hard to get over. But uh, let's check out this video. This is our Marion Smith's home on Fall Saturdays. This is his home the rest of the time. The 21-year-old Michigan State defensive back shares this with 70,000 rabid fans. Here, he's in charge of his younger brothers and sisters. I get to come in here and see my siblings and stuff every day. You know what I'm saying? So it just put a smile on my face to see them happy. Smith has a lot on his plate, more than most college students, and certainly more than most student athletes. His mother died a month ago after battling breast cancer. And without a father in the family's life, Smith has become head of the household while studying criminal justice and playing major college football. My cars were given, given to me. Like I didn't choose my deck of cars. But Smith has help. His 19-year-old sister minds things while he's gone for about 12 hours most days. So me and my sister got to work together, you know what I'm saying, to keep this all afloat. They live in a four-bedroom, two-bathroom house in the state's capital city thanks to waves of financial support. I couldn't even begin to imagine where to start to be if I was in his situation. Um, he's, he's in a tough spot right now, but He's one of the strongest guys that I've known. I love you. Let's go. Plus, he has Mamatron. Yolanda Wilson is the mother of Smith's high school and now MSU teammate Nick Marsh, a star receiver. She vowed to be there for Smith and his family. They have us to support them. I'm going to be there no matter what. That was a promise I made to their mother. And they have everybody here backing them up. So 
it's going to be a hard transition as it is, but we're going to be that tight knit community and have their back. Smith says his sadness comes and goes, but he knows his mother would want him to carry on. I could feel her living through me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, it's like I hear her voice telling me how proud she is of my, like, like how proud she is of me. That's a tough one to watch. That's a tough one to watch. I'm not trying to throw a saw in the wind, but I'm blessed to still have my parents around and give me guidance and pray for the best for Smith, man. I'm not sure if he wants to go into the league, but if that's what he wants, I pray everything works out for him and he could put his family in a better situation. I mean, I know money doesn't solve your issues, but, and it doesn't solve him losing his mother, but it'll put him in a better spot physically and possibly mentally just having everything they need. I know the article stated that he grew up jumping from house to house. And I think he's going to make some Something good of himself, man. Him and his, his sisters and brothers. Typically, it's those that go through the toughest challenges end up succeeding in life. And, man, it's a sad story, but my prayers go out to his family, and I wish you the best, man. Down Home News TV, I'm Dre. Y'all have a good one.